Hello everyone, uh, today we are going to the Mountain Lakes Park. There are five lakes in that park. It's right on the edge of New York State, right next to Connecticut. And these lakes are not as pressured as other water I've been to. So more likely we're gonna get a bit and then more likely we're gonna hook up some giant fish. And let's check it out. I haven't been there myself. So I'm excited to explore new water. Uh, this afternoon I probably have some more hours to explore five lakes. But uh, no promise I can cover all the waters. I will try. Let's run. Ready to roll. So guys, in this windy day and uh, seeing this much tulips around, I'm gonna use this um, swim jig. So this is uh, actually a beastie bug. I think it's eight sounds. I paired with a 3.3 inch Kitek swim bait. I think this one is gonna do well in this kind of condition. The water is super clear. Uh, this color is more of a natural color, uh, better than the June bug or black blue color we had on the other box. We're ready, let's get to the business. They are not here at this cove. Let's go find some structures to fish. Oh! We got our first fish right on the shallow area. <laughs> this is a pickerel. I haven't caught a pickerel in a while. Let's go. I'm gonna release this guy right where I caught him. Right here. Okay, little guy. Let's get some more. Oh, that's a big one. We missed it. Crap, there's a little bass that took my tail off. Oh, man. You know, guys, every small fish is trying to take off the paddle tail from my jig. I mean, the paddle tail has become straight tail. But uh, still, I'm gonna try to use it. Um, I'm not gonna waste it anyway. I think the straight tail works just fine. Let's catch one fish on this. <laughs> oh, lost it. Guys, that's another pickerel. It's probably the smallest pickerel I ever caught. <laughs> Let's go. Oh, check out this area. This is a very quiet cove. I think if any fish, they're gonna want to stay here. Let's see. You know, this is the kind of a perfect area for pickerel to survive. All these shallow bush and those tulips, that's the perfect hideout. Let's see if we can hook some more. I just lost two here, by the way. Got one. <laughs> Finally, we hooked one. This pickerel nibbled my bait like a million times. So far, I have found nothing else but a pickerel. Let's see if we can get a much bigger one. This is still a baby, huh? Let this little guy go. All right? You can go. You know, I don't really use a swim jig that often. You know, normally for bank fishermen, it's really easy to get hung up and lose their lure. A swim jig is just a little bit costly to replace. Uh, here we're on the, another flat. You see those flat area? These are the 
kind of area that holds some big uh, pickles over here. But it's a little bit of how to cast. On the left side, this tule is gonna be home to those pickles as well. Let's see if we can catch something here. Let's give this guy a new paddle tail. Let's see if this is gonna draw some bites. We got a bigger one! Oop! Oh yeah! This is our pick round number three. Look how small this guy is. I can almost take this guy to my tank. Let's go find another spot. Uh, we have five lakes to explore. We can't stay on one spot more than 10 minutes. So, so far I have caught uh, three fish and lost three. Uh, the biggest one was that uh, bass I lost. I was not setting the hook. I was like, you know, I, I was pretty sure it was a pickle, but uh, I misjudged it. Uh, okay, let's check out this, this area. Oh, that's that's a better fish. That is definitely a better fish. That's our first bass this day. Our first bass this session. We got it down, man. Woohoo! All right, finally got a bass. It's a small one, but we gotta start somewhere, right? Let's continue casting into those lily pads. There will be some more fish coming. Another one, this is bigger. Cast back to back, they are there. This is much bigger, he is swimming towards us. Let's go, let's go. Let's go, baby. Whoa, let's go, this is a big mondo. Let's go, baby. This is the place that holds good fish. Look at this belly, ready for spawn. Full belly of eggs. This is a female, very chunky female. This is probably, I think this is a two pound. This is a very short one, but this is definitely two pound bass. Look at this, two pound on the dot. Look at this mouse, a nice two pounder. Okay, three, two, one, let's go. All right guys, we almost come back to our parking lot. Uh, this lake so far, our most area are shallow. Uh, by the left side of the parking lot, it's deeper. I think if you want to come out of fish here, definitely start from there. The right side, however, is much shallower. It doesn't mean there's no fish. It's just right now, it's not a fish there. In the shallow, you know, in the summertime, the fish activity will change. So, there's a, one last spot I want to cover. So this is actually where you might start your fishing. It's just, uh, there was someone else here, so I started somewhere else, but uh, I think they are gone now. Let's uh, see if we can catch something over this windy spot. Go. 
we got one. After they left, I came over this spot and caught this one. This is not a big, probably, um, I think it's 12 ounces. It's not very big, but we caught it. We got him. I mean, this is the kind of a condition, a bit of wind and the water clarity is super high. This is the typical condition. I'd like to use a natural color swim jig. All right, guys, this is it for this lake. Uh, we have caught six fish, I guess. If I remember right, uh, the biggest one was the two-pounder female we call it by the lily pads. Uh, she has some big girth on her belly. She's ready for the spawn. Overall, very good fishing on this lake, even though today is extremely cold. And uh, if I can come here like in a warm day, in a good condition, I think I can catch a lot more fish here. This is a pretty good place. All right, I do recommend this place. and. Uh, I'll see you on the next lake. There are four left to explore. Let's go. Is there no fish in here? Really? We drained this lake in the, in the fall. Oh. We just filled it up. So there's just little fish in there. I mean, there's little fish. But not I big. see. I see. Why, why turning it up? Because we have children swim here in the summertime. Oh, it's swimming. And I we see. We drain it. Yeah, we have camp here in the summer. So if we drain the water out, no big plants will grow there when the children are swimming uh -huh. through. It's, it's, it's fine for it. And it fills back up in the spring, as you see. Oh, but okay. at this moment, there's no, well, there's little fish. 